She still loves being in her crib, Miss Kicky Feet. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys about this guy. This is Pegger. I guess when he first came and he was brand new when I was a baby, he had a bib on that said little beggar. It's supposed to be like a dog that's sitting up begging. But he lost his bib, and when I was little, I guess I called him Pegger because I couldn't say little beggar, although I didn't know that until I was older, why his name was Pegger. He has lost his nose because my dog chewed it off, and he used to be cuter. His little face used to be more squished up like this, and you couldn't see those bags under his eyes, but as we get older, we all get things. He has a receding hairline and bags under his eyes, and he's missing a nose, you know, things that happen to all old people. Anyways, oh, yes, Pegger is my special stuffed animal that I had when I was little, and my grandmother, when she watched me, she would tell me stories about adventures that Pegger and I went on, and I always wanted to do that for my little girl, but one of the important things was that it was not a regular teddy bear. Like, Pegger was so unique, I never saw another stuffed animal like him, and I used to have dreams even about how he was the one and only one that ever existed. So I wanted to get her a stuffed animal. Yes, baby. And I've been on the hunt for one that is unique. You wanna see Pegger or will he scare you? See Pegger? Say hi. She's like, you don't have a nose, dude. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I wanted to get her one that was unique and not just another teddy bear, so I've been on the hunt, and I ordered one, and it's coming tomorrow. I'll open it and show you guys when I get it. Hopefully it's as cute as it looked online. It's not a teddy bear, just like Pegger is a little dog. Oh, and I have a funny story. One time when my grandma was watching me when my mom was in the hospital for, like, a long time, um, when I was little, which my mom was healthy then, it was just a thing. Anyways, um, she put me and Pegger to bed at her house, and she wanted to tell me a story about me and Pegger, but my grandma was older, and she set him up like this, upside down and backwards. Here's his little arms hanging down. She thought these were his feet, this was his body, and that was his nose and his ears, and she kissed him right there, and I started cracking up because she just kissed my teddy bear's butt. <laughs> and she looked at me and looked at him and said, where are your eyes? So that was a joke with us. We say, oh, Pegger, where are your eyes? So, anyways, that's my special guy. I got one for her, and hopefully she'll love him. However, if she decides to love something she gets out of a vending machine and it's made of plastic and stupid, that's okay. She can pick her own best friend. Mommy will not discriminate against your best friend choices, okay? Maybe you want a blankie instead. <laughs> but something I was looking forward to do with my kid, and I'm so excited about the box coming.